Hello, and welcome to another episode, Ethics Matter. Um, I'm Zalmont, and uh, if you find yourself enjoying today's episode, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for more content, comment, let me know your thoughts, and feel free to share, share, share. Um, in my series here, I just kind of talk about random stuff and play ARC. Uh, today's topic is uh, Ethics Matter. Um, it... Uh, this one is brought on by the... Uh, I'm sure most of you have seen the spiel from Dave Chappelle about good versus bad and, 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 and better versus worse, how, you know, like, like ethics matter and, like, you know, good and, and bad are a compass and, you know, when it's better or worse, the people like that are, are more easily controlled and that's true. Like, that's 100% true. Um, ethics really matter. It matters in everything you do. Um, and once you realize that, you gain an integrity. And well, once you realize that and hold to it. Um, and, and realize like there's there's a true benefit to you in you holding it. Like that's a lot of people. A lot of people get stuck up in this selfish mentality. Uh, and the thing about it is, is like they don't realize like that, uh, you know, it, it actually benefits you to keep that level, right? People, you get opportunities that you can't get otherwise. People trust you in a way that they won't trust anyone else because you do what's right when nobody's there and, and it's provable over and over and over, right? Like, you, there's there's nobody talking smack about how you said one thing and did another, you know? Um, and yeah, like right and wrong, good and bad matters. Good and evil is a is a real thing. It's a real tangible thing. Now, are there grays in between? Absolutely. And that's where you need to allow for mercy, compassion, and forgiveness. But that's not to say that there isn't bad. Just because you can forgive a person for having done something bad doesn't mean that they didn't do something bad. You know? Just because, you know, like... Just because there's something worse doesn't mean that, that what you did wasn't bad. You know? Like, shoplifting. Shoplifting is bad. Now, just because you could have assaulted a person, just because you could have mugged a person instead of instead of shoplifting, instead of pickpocketing, doesn't make pickpocketing or shoplifting any less egregious. It's, they're still bad. They're still evil acts. Um, now, hey, you, you can justify evil acts. You can always justify an evil act. People have done that for millenniums. Doesn't make an evil act any less evil. And, that, and, and you don't when you, when you move from a world of good and bad, good and evil, to a world of better and worse, to sub, sub, subjective, subjectivality, that's not even a word, I don't think, but <laughs> I'm sure people get what I mean. But when, when everything is subjective and, and, and there is no objective good and evil, nah. Now, yeah, mercy and forgiveness and compassion, empathy... Absolutely, but that doesn't mean that good and good and evil it, it isn't a real thing. It doesn't mean that you should dismiss them. You shouldn't. They are a compass. Um, I think that there's another. Uh, I think that's, uh, that's another episode for me to do another day. There was a video I was watching. Well, actually, let's talk about it a little bit because there, there was a video I was watching where they were. Uh, oh, it's it was with uh, Morgan Freeman. And he's talking about your inner voice and how you should listen to your inner voice. And, like, yeah, you should listen to your feelings. Your feelings let you know if it's good or bad. If what you're... You know if you're doing good or bad. That's I got a couple employees that I work with that you can tell that they're starting to get worried about their positions. And I'm not going to lie, like, if you feel that... You, if you're starting to be worried about your position at a workplace... You don't need anyone to tell you that you sh should be worried about your position at a workplace. And like I say, if if you're feeling that when nobody's talked to you, nobody's done anything, no, you, well then, um, 
you should pick up your socks because you know where you're slacking. You you feel when you're doing that, like, you know, um, well, one example with my work. Um, FIFO, first in, first out. Um, it's important for food rotation, otherwise you're going to have lots of spoilage if, if you, you're not rotating it properly, right? Well, I have noticed that thing, certain things are... Now, me, I'm... I work six days a week and I stock everything myself daily so I put the proper rotation in <laughs> but it also means that I also notice when things are not being properly rotated I notice when you put new on top of old um, and the thing about that is that if you're doing that you know as well as I do that you're doing it do you need me to tell you that you're doing that? That you shouldn't be doing that? No, you don't need me to tell you that. Stop doing it right. <laughs> if you're worried about your job, and, and if you feel that, trust in your feelings, right? Your feelings tell you. Your your inner voice tells you. You know if you're whether you're doing right or wrong. In one way or like like so just do it right. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, let me know your thoughts. Uh, <coughs> comment in the... Leave yourselves a comment. Uh, like if you found yourself enjoying the episode. Subscribe for more content. And feel free to share. And uh, until next time, thanks for watching. Alright.